for the young hiko in the bush. Just want to address the fact that um, I get a lot of questions about my my moko. Well, my moko is called moko puhoro. You might recognise that because that's usually what you call the design on the legs. Moko puhoro ended up on the legs. Now my moko here, the original person was called Te Koko. He's from a far north Northland tribe called Ngare Raumati. Ngare Raumati's lands were in the Bay of Islands up in the far north. Uh, it's an ancient tribe. Uh, those lands are no longer Ngare Raumati's as they got conquested by Ngapuhi. But in this day and age, we know that many of Ngapuhi's descendants and Ngati White have whakapapa and kinship to the ancient tribe of Ngāri Raumati. This picture here became famous in England and is still famous around the world for being the first Māori facial moko, Polynesian facial moko, drawn by Europeans. So Cook and his men turned up at Motu, Motu Arohia as custom goes. Tupiners went down there to a pōhiri and Cook been afraid for his life, he drew a line in the sand and he declared that anyone who crossed that line in his own English language, which they didn't understand, anyone crossed that line, they would be shot. Te Koko was one of them that got shot, so he was shot and injured and these natives, they were quite shocked because they had never ever seen the gun, let alone being shot by an invisible force, a bullet by these um, magic sticks. Tupaya, who was Cook's great navigator, he went to go visit Te Koko and he dressed his wounds and um, helped his wound recover. The Tahitian language is an older ancestor to the Māori language. You can imagine it would have been quite interesting for Tupaya to meet distant relatives that had left that area and were still in huge numbers in Aotearoa. Anyway, because of Tupaya's gesture, they allowed for the artist to draw his moko, which is tapu, and he also gifted the whale, whale tooth pendants, and he also gifted that bone heru to Tupaya, which I hear are currently held in a museum in England. That's moko puhoro, that's my tupuna, te koko and the beautiful art of Ngare Raumati in the Bay of Islands.